Okay, this graph right here is the graph of y equals square root of x, the blue graph. The red graph is the line y equals x. You set those equal to each other to find the points of intersection. You'll find out 0, 0, and 1, 1 are where they intersect. So this region right here is the region bounded by those curves. We're going to revolve that region about the line x equals 3. <clears throat> you could do this either with the shell method or the washer method. Shell method looks a little bit easier to me. And when you use the shell method, you want your typical shell to be parallel to the axis of revolution, which is this thick dashed <coughs> green line out here. So we need an algebraic expression for the height of a typical shell, which is the y-coordinate at the top, the square root of x, minus the y-coordinate at the bottom, which is just x, because that's the line y equals x. So this is an expression right here. Let me go to red for the height of the shell. <clears throat> then we need to multiply that by the average radius which is the distance from the shell to the axis of revolution. So if we were going from here, the total distance would be 3, but we have to subtract this x right here. <clears throat> so the distance from the axis of revolution to the center of the shell is represented by 3 minus x. And we're integrating from 0 to 1 along the x-axis because the our typical shells are like that. <clears throat> so to actually evaluate this definite integral, you probably have to use FOIL to multiply these two binomials together. You get something that looks like that. <clears throat> the antiderivative looks like that. Evaluated from 0 to 1. Put 1 in. All the powers of x just become 1, so we get these coefficients. And when we put 0 in for x, we just get a 0. And if you combine these fractions with the common denominator, multiply by 2 pi, there's what you get. Okay, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.